<laughs> and it's still like going nuts. Oh, See? hi. Oh. Just just turn it all down. <laughs> turn it oh. all down. Just uh, every everything oh. that's not us. Just <laughs> turn it down. <laughs> My God. Wow. Damn, that was crazy. And what's crazy it's is it's still crazy. And what's mm-hmm. crazy is there, there, there's like nobody here to fix anything. And well, that track. And it is turned down. You said, huh? Yeah. Apparently, it was turned down. I don't know. Yeah. Like that this was guy. the weirdest. Oh my God. The weirdest crap. Yep. I, I've never seen anything. I mean, the system sucks. I mean, we've heard of it happening at other stations. Yeah. Like, yeah. you know, right. in the overnights, mm-hmm. they'll just play everything all over, and then there's nothing. There's dead air for four yeah. hours. Yeah. Uh, anyway, so I could do the uh, the Friday fail stories, but I don't uh, I don't want really to have access Ooh. to any of our stuff because all of our stuff's jacked up. Oh, no. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. I mean, I guess, I guess I could try doing it this way. Let's see if we can. Oh, okay. Ooh, nice. All right, there we go. All right, sweet. <laughs> I mean, everything for the rest of the day is just starting to play. We're eventually going to oh, be into wow. the Booker and Friends show. Yeah, we are. <laughs> All right, well, that's uh, that's what you want on a Friday morning, you guys. Yeah, uh, heck yeah. yeah. Smooth. Nice, easy day. Perfect segue to the fails. Yeah. Gentlemen, boys, and girls, it is time for your Friday fail story. Yes, it is. All these people thought they had the perfect plan, the plan that could never go wrong, but somewhere along the line, it went from being a great idea to one big stinking mega uber ultra fail. was late and then really aggressive what i yeah that really... i was trying to help <laughs> God. i uh, loved it menace we're, we're off of our i finally uh, got in tune with you after i thought seconds. oh wow menace is with us yeah know, no yeah. reason to there was no reason to stop yeah. it yeah two yeah. thumbs up frustrated menace. yeah come on yeah we can push through Don't yeah. take we're it professionals yeah we shouldn't have stopped i, I know. agree with that yeah yeah <sighs> oh no we're okay it's fine it's not the end of the world yeah, yeah, uh, no. But you it know, isn't, but... it sends everybody here scrambling. So and, much uh, we hate scrambling. Yeah, we're, <laughs> we're scrambling. Nobody knows, you know, what you can do because to, no one knows how to fix it. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, I'm sure somebody knows how to fix it. But like, yeah. even when you hit stop on stuff, it doesn't stop. Yeah, yeah. and it just kicks up well, to the next thing. Kicks up well, to the next thing. Can't stop, won't stop. Can't stop, won't stop. <laughs> exactly right. To adjust the fail. Yes. Yes. Fail. <laughs> Falange needs adjusting. Yeah. yeah. All right, well, uh, here we go. Friday fail story, starting with one that we talked about when it first happened. This was back November 2021. Okay. That YouTuber, his name's Trevor Jacob. Mm-hmm. He was flying over the Nash- a national forest there in California, got some content for his YouTube page, and then he said the plane's engine failed. Oh, no, no. That's scary. So he opened up the side door of the plane. There's cameras everywhere, mm-hmm. so it caught every little inch of this. And uh, he jumps out of the plane. He just happened to have a parachute on, you guys. Yeah, thank God. As, it was most, a, as yeah. most private pilots do. Yes. Coincidence. Just happened to have yeah. his uh, parachute on. Thinking ahead, just in case. And uh, he posted the 12-minute crash video on his channel. It's got nearly 3 million views. But then the investigation by the FAA happened. Prosecutors found that Jacob never planned on reaching his destination and that the plan was always to crash the plane oh for views. God. No. He was also accused of lying to the FAA, so they revoked his pilot's license last year. Good. And now Jacob has pled guilty to obstructing a federal investigation, and he's looking at up to 20 years in prison. He deserves it. Worth it. <laughs> yeah, you know he's sitting there, worth, worth it. it. Idiot. Worth it. On his way down from the parachute. 20 years worth you're looking at. Him. Failed. And so. how rich is this guy? Just crashes a I know. plane. I know. I'm, I'm like, gonna crash I was just thinking now. about the financial part of it. So he got three million views off the video, which equals to about three thousand dollars. You're gonna have to do 
insurance fraud on top of that to yeah. try to get another plane. Right. Yeah. What a waste. So dumb. <laughs> Set how many fires yeah. when it crashes? Yeah. What Idiot. Jerk. Yep. Uh, Friday fail story. How about this one? It's from North Carolina. The police, they pulled over this guy. His name's Joshua Russell. It was just a traffic stop. But the guy gets out of his car decides to run. So the cops saw him running in this big field. Couldn't exactly see where he went. Joshua had seen this group of cows, thought he could hide where they were laying around. So he tried that. But when the group of cows banded together, they exposed Joshua by physically leading the cops to exactly where he was hiding. <laughs> Narc cow. cows. Cows. Are, cows are like, get the hell out of here. Snitches. Yeah. You're, in, yeah. you're in our field. Yeah. So anyway, uh, he got arrested and uh, taken to jail, looting arrest, motor vehicle charges, mm-hmm. driving with a ro- revoked license, disorderly conduct, all that kind of stuff, taken directly to fail jail. Mm-hmm. Oh, no. Failed. All right. Here is one from Florida where the cops, they arrived at a house to arrest this guy. No one was home. But then they heard something coming from the attic. Okay. And so who do they send in? They send in the police Dugan. They should have okay. sent in the baby. Little baby. Yeah. So like the good boy that he is, the dog finds the guy. Mm-hmm. He's trying to hide in the corner of the attic. And as they uh, try to get him to come out on his own, he was refusing. And then right about that time is when he came crashing through <laughs> the ceiling, yeah. landed flat on his back in the bedroom right on the floor. And uh, then they pepper sprayed him, <laughs> tased him, oh, and then took him to fail jail. <laughs> I love this. Just think of the scene. He's trapped yeah. in an attic yeah, I love with it. a canine yep. that's going crazy. Yep. You fall through on your back, yep. pepper spray, and tase. You think yep. once you fall, yeah. just yeah. fail. Yeah. Worth it. So worth it. Yep. <laughs> uh, here's another one from Toronto. You got this teenager. He was with two of his dumb buddies. They were riding the subway and decided that, you know what would even be more cool than riding inside the train? What? what? Let's ride on top <laughs> of the train. <laughs> totally right. Yeah. So he opened that door that mm-hmm. leads to that space between the cars, and he climbs up between them. Mm-hmm. But uh, before he could make it all the way onto the roof, he had stuck his head up a little too far and got smashed by an unknown object. Oh, uh-huh. maybe the oh, wow. ceiling? or Yeah, it reminds me of like uh, Wile E. Coyote yeah. Yeah. in the old cartoons uh-huh. where they'd be on top of... Uh, of the car, and mm-hmm. they would just, like, pfft, pfft, and they, they'd, they'd get to yeah. the tunnel Flat. going through the mountain, just and boom. Flat. Mm-hmm. And then yeah. fall like a piece of paper. Yeah, exactly. So he did. Oh, man. Ah, oh, yeah. That was worth it. You uh, lived your sure whole your life. parents are super happy about yeah, it. Right. Yeah. Worth that. <laughs> your whole life Sorry, until that mom. moment. Worth yeah. <laughs> Sorry, mom. Yeah. Uh, I like how the police classified the incident. Quote, death by misadventure. Misadventure. <laughs> Slightly. Indeed. Yeah. Oh, no. Fail. Fail. <laughs> That's not uh, how trains work. No. Two EMTs in Florida. They've been fired. They declared a man dead, even though he was still alive. Oh. Probably not good if you're a paramedic, yeah. huh? You might have to know death if you're going to be a medic. Mm-hmm. The paramedics told a woman there in Clearwater to stop giving her 66-year-old father CPR, even though Phoebe Maxwell told them he's still breathing. Oh my God. The wow. medics continued to pronounce him dead, notified law enforcement, and then just went on to another call. Yeah. Oh my God. Like, so oh, he's an old guy. He's lived long enough. Now they're uh, making recommendations to revoke the medic's licenses, which uh, seems to be pretty, pretty cut and dry. Yeah. Maybe check his pulse? Yeah. Nah. I'm not even a paramedic, and I thought of that. Maybe he's... they're under a lot of pressure. Like, you know, like yeah. um, when you work. At a drive-thru, I remember like a McDonald's when I worked there, there was like a certain amount of time that they had that they wanted. The goal was to get people from the time they order to the time they have their food and they're driving away within like whatever it is, right? Yeah. yeah. That's why if you go to the restaurant, you'll see like the, sometimes they'll have like a counter, like a timer going on. Oh. And the order will turn red once it hits that. Uh, ah. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So they had to just move along. Yeah. So they had to move along. We guess he's dead. Bye. Yeah. Well, I because I, I just went to the doctor. This week right. for my uh, follow up on the Wagovi thing, right? Yeah, which is going well. Thank nice. you. Nice, okay, awesome. <laughs> um. Anyway, so the doctors they're in and out like pit stops. Oh, like, yeah. If you're lucky. If you're lucky, mm-hmm. because they're under all this pressure to see so many patients or whatever, they can mm-hmm. only spend. Like, the goal is they even have a time. They right. go, hey, no right. more than whatever. Now, if you're shorter with somebody else, you could be longer with somebody else. But they that's why they schedule them the way they do. Yeah. And um, maybe it's, the, I don't know, EMTs. I mean, well, I mean, pl- there's private ambulance companies. Yeah. And so they're trying to make money. 
Like, how can you predict? I don't know. Yeah. Not sure how that works. My latest doctor, I've been going to the specialist lately, and I have my appointment. Let's just say it's at noon. Mm-hmm. And I hear them chatting out, like, right outside the door <laughs> that where they put you on the table and tell you to wait. And they're, he's just chatting it up. They're talking about yeah. movies and what they did this <laughs> yeah. weekend, what they're doing next week. How was your vacation, Linda? Oh, it's good, doctor. <laughs> yeah. uh, next week we're doing. I'm like, uh, hello, can hello. You maybe get me over with. And yeah, then get me over with. Yeah, I'm trying <laughs> to get my wiener extension and leave. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah, get me over with. Get yeah. me Just over with. Get me over yeah. with, and yeah. then yeah. talk about. And then your chop vacation. it up with Linda. Yeah. Yeah. Get- <laughs> <laughs> yeah wow. Well, Fail. They're so fired. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> uh, here's one from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, where the Woody Show is proud to be heard weekday mornings on 105.9 The X. A man yep. somehow managed to get to the airport in plenty of time, checked his bag, but somehow missed the boarding call for his flight. Oh, no. Play at the bar. Getting drunk? That's what Greg does. Oh, yeah. God. I've almost missed so many flights. <laughs> And I'm early to the airport, and I almost still miss it. <laughs> so instead getting of drunk. instead of sucking it up and just getting on the next flight, he said uh, there was a bomb in his checked bags. <laughs> oh, that's oh, always, no. go- that's always goes yeah. well. A better idea. Now, yeah. what do you what do you think's going to happen? That's a genius idea. They'll say, "Oh no!" That they'll just do a bomb scan. Yeah. Find it clear, and, and you're say, good to go. All right, everybody. Yeah. Oh. Like you're going to buy yourself some time. The plane mm-hmm. will yeah. be there longer. You'll have time to get on board. Yeah. Never mind. Yeah. You're free so to go. Oh, dumb. <laughs> Yeah, especially when you're the one. Like, okay, yeah. maybe you're somebody else. You're not the one who called in the bomb threat. Or you didn't even call it in. You just told them. Yeah. There's a bomb in my checked bag. <laughs> like, if it's somebody else, okay, that might buy you some time. Like, mm-hmm. oh, my God, guys, I was running so late to the airport. <laughs> <Yeah>. But some <laughs> other dumbass, Yeah, he he threatened there was a bomb. And so yeah, I, I made the flight because mm-hmm. this guy right. called in a bomb threat. Not when it's you, though. No. Dumbass. So he was arrested. He was taken to fail jail. <laughs> Failed. You could share a cell with that uh, guy who jumped out of the plane. Oh, yeah. Right. Oh, yeah. Both so worth it. I know. Yeah. Oh, genius. So worth it. Yeah. 20 years. <laughs> How stupid. I'd be so <laughs> mad at myself. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Bort, what's the latest? Bort, uh, Bort's running yeah. around here like mad. Oh, no. Uh, All right. Oh, you're oh, about to bro- It's oh. already He's broken. got that look on his face. Yeah. yeah. It well, is if it's a, What do you say? He said, if it, oh, wait. Did, we, mm. did, did it get fixed? What happened? Oh, you don't he want the answer. He says you don't want the answer. I don't well, want we need some mysterious. kind of answer. All right. hey! Hey! hey, everybody. It's like, yay. Hey! Oh, my God. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah. Don't worry about it. We're going to party tonight. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's going to be all good. Be all good. Even extra. Wait, hold on. What would you say, Bart? All right. Two minutes. He needs two minutes. All right. All right. Yeah, that's fine. Would you like me to tell you about the traffic? Uh, or nah. I don't even know who we're talking to right now. Cares. <laughs> <laughs> Is this thing on? Uh, traffic schmaffic. Uh, that's true. Yeah. Poor Bort. <laughs> I've only seen that look on his face a couple times. So well, Bort did tell me that. Um, oh, yeah. I said, "You all right, Bort?" And he goes, "Yeah." I said, uh, "Do I need to clear the building?" Right. And he goes, "Well, he goes, you'll know to get to get out of the building." He goes, "You ever hear baby metal playing?" <laughs> I'm like, what's baby metal? Baby metal. Oh, it's yeah. like some Japanese, like. Oh, oh. dude, baby metal's what? huge. Say again, board. Baby metal is in the system, ready to go. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> but baby where, metal. Where uh, is baby metal? Is it? Is that what it's called? Baby metal? Yeah, it's yeah, called. Yeah. It's a band. Mm-hmm. Oh, I thought it was a genre. They have sold out shows. Really? Yeah. Baby metal. Baby. <laughs> I got baby queen, baby bash, baby face. Oh wait, there it is. Baby metal. Baby metal. Okay. All right, let's oh, see. Boy. Let's see what this sounds. This I, you know what this is helpful. I'll know yeah. what to listen for. It's soothing. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I'm sure it's real soothing. This is a song called Distortion. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah! Sweet drums. <laughs> All right, so if we ever hear this, evacuate immediately. Yeah, we know the. Get Don't the ask hell questions. Out. <laughs> Just run. Hey yeah. guys, sports playing baby metal. Yeah. Oh, Get no. out! <laughs> Run! Run! Nice. That's good stuff. Can't I, stop, won't stop. I don't dislike it. <laughs> this is good, Bart. Yeah, like I wouldn't consider it. Um, this, this doesn't sound like death metal. Death metal has a whole oh, different. Oh, it's definitely yeah. not death yeah. metal. No. Yeah, death metal is the worst. Yeah. This is baby. Metal. I prefer baby over the death. You, I prefer baby to death. Uh, yeah. They'll yeah. be at the YouTube theater. 
uh, October 11th. Really? Yeah. Well, here, since we're talking about board, this is a uh, this is a death metal band. It's called Intestinal Alien Reflux. Ooh. Because you know how much... <laughs> he uh, loves aliens. He loves aliens, uh-huh. and he loves metal, but does he love this death metal? This is a... Uh, this is a song called Blood Semen Orgasm. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Didn't you play this at your wedding? <laughs> uh, you want to hear yeah. another one? Oh. And they're oh, all, by please. the way, by the way, they're all very different from each other. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Uh, this is same band, mm-hmm. Intestinal Alien Reflux, and yeah. uh, the name of this song is Human Cattle. Here we go. Oh, okay. I can tell the difference. Yeah. It's vastly different. Yeah. I love what they did with the harp. Uh-huh. That's very good. I wonder uh, who wrote the lyrics. Yeah. Here, and uh, since, you know, Title 42 has expired, now right. we have all this stuff going on at the border. Mm-hmm. How about uh, this one from Intestinal Alien Reflux, then we'll move on. This okay. is called uh, Illegal Aliens. Okay. All right, here oh, we okay. Go. okay. Watch out! He's got his probe! <laughs> Yes. Okay. Yes. He's got his probe. Hell yeah. (laughs) Oh, God. This has been Dumb Death Metal Band Spotlight. Yeah, here on the Woody Show. Uh, Are we good to take the break now, board? We're we're all good? Go for it. All right, cool. More Woody Shows next, I think. Hang on. We'll be right back. Maybe. Maybe.